Lateran is the name that roused Christians during the Middle Ages. Today, Vatican is synonymous with Catholic Church, but it used to be Lateran because the citadel of the Pope stood here on the Lateran. On your screen, you can see some historic engravings of St. John. The Papal Palace was known as the Patriarchio. Its walls encircled and protected the Cathedral of Rome and the world, the ancient Basilica of St. John. This is where we'll take an extraordinary journey through history, faith and art. I'm a journalist with many years of experience. I'll be accompanying you on your tour around the sights and stories of the Basilica of St. John Lateran. Along our journey together through the centuries, you'll also hear the voices of leading figures from the Basilica's long history. They'll give us an insight into the thoughts and feelings of artists, popes, emperors and humble pilgrims. During the first century AD, this land belonged to the Lateranus family of senators. The remains of their home lie beneath the Basilica and the Apostolic Palace of the Lateran. Also underneath the current structures are the remains of a Roman cavalry barracks. It was the home of the Equites Singularis, a mounted imperial guard of elite horsemen. It's common in Rome for Christian architectural complexes to have deep but barely visible roots in the pagan city. But the Lateran complex was soon to be Christianized. After becoming imperial property, the land was given to Pope Miltiades by the Emperor Constantine. The Emperor was a convert to Christianity. Constantine defeated the Roman army at the decisive Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD. On top of the army's headquarters, the cavalry barracks, he built a great church in honour of the Saviour. The church was later dedicated to the saints John the Baptist and John the Evangelist. Many works of art depict the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. On your screen you can see some examples. Constantine fought the battle against his rival Maxentius under the sign of the cross. The demolition of the barracks was clearly an act of retaliation against the defeated army. The foundations of the new church were to be the walls of the demolished army barracks. We recommend you continue your tour in the square in front of the basilica. To change the order of the stops, select the points of interest from the map or the menu. 